Have a nice day, everyone. Do you feel prepared to delve headfirst into the most recent buzz and controversy that has everyone talking? Hold on to your hats, because we are going to solve the enigma that lies behind the much-discussed fourth stimulus check and dig deeply into the high-stakes world of the dynamics of foreign and aid. Put on your seatbelts because you won't want to miss out on this opportunity. Thank you for returning to our channel. Your ultimate destination for all things related to economic stimulus packages or packages. This day, we are going to share with you some exciting new developments that have occurred. On the other hand, before we get into the juicy stuff, I can't stress enough how important it is to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell in order to be informed about anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. Let's get right down to business, shall we? The themes that have been generating a lot of buzz as of late are going to be the focus of our discussion today. We have a lot of topics to discuss, ranging from the tempting prospect of a fourth stimulus check to the ongoing discussion between national security and international assistance. But before we go into it, let's talk about the most obvious problem in the room. The fourth stimulus check which has been eagerly anticipated. Numerous rumours and speculations have been circulating over the course of the previous few months regarding the possible provision of further financial support, which might range anywhere from $14 to a staggering $1,000. The recipients of Social Security benefits, particularly those who receive SSI and SSDI, are eagerly anticipating any news regarding the upcoming relief that may be forthcoming. Now, if you have been searching through the results of a Google search or browsing through YouTube, you have most likely come across a multitude of headlines and videos that claim to have insider information regarding the stimulus checks. It is possible that titles that promise a stimulus payment of $5,200 will be sent to seniors who are on SSI will attract your attention, igniting your dreams for much-needed financial relief. But hold your horses, folks, because here's the truth, and despite all the hype and enthusiasm, there is currently no concrete proof or official plans in Congress regarding a fourth stimulus check. This is important to keep in mind. To shift gears a little bit, let's talk about the political climate and the ongoing discussion about the provision of help to foreign countries. Within the context of Ukraine in particular, during the time that Republicans in the House are enjoying their recess, the White House has been quick to condemn their absence. They have accused them of delaying essential money for Ukraine and disregarding problems related to border security on their absence. As the White House draws attention to the potential dangers that may materialize in the event that financing for Ukraine is not authorized in a timely manner, the aggravation that they feel is evident. In reference to Ukraine, former President Donald Trump recently offered his thoughts on the matter, which rekindled the discussion over the role that the United States plays in giving assistance. Concerns have been expressed by President Trump who is known for his America First agenda over the billions of dollars that are donated to countries outside of the United States, while domestic problems are not being addressed. Trump, in a forthright interview, underlined the significance of giving priority to the interests of the United States of America and called for increased responsibility in the programs that pertain to foreign art. The remarks made by Trump brought attention to the larger discussion that is taking place regarding the role that the United States plays in the international arena and the delicate balance that must be struck between advancing national interests and developing international cooperation. Important questions regarding the priorities of the United States foreign policy and the distribution of taxpayer resources in a world that is becoming increasingly linked are being raised as the debate continues to develop. From this point forward, let us move our attention back to the domestic front and investigate the consequences of the ongoing drama surrounding the stimulus check. Despite the fact 
that the possibility of receiving additional financial aid is undeniably enticing. It is vital to approach the matter with a critical eye and to control expectations in accordance with the situation. The absence of precise legislative ideas highlights the difficulties that arise when attempting to navigate economic relief measures in an atmosphere that is politically heated. Millions of people in the United States are left in a state of uncertainty as they wait for clarification on their financial prospects. This is because policymakers are struggling with competing goals and fiscal limits, which makes the route forward unpredictable. While this is going on, grassroots organizations and advocacy groups are continuing to press for comprehensive relief measures that are designed to meet the varied requirements of communities and individuals all throughout the country. The call for serious action is resonating louder than it ever has before and encompasses everything from direct cash handouts to tailored aid programs, highlighting the critical need to address the issues of economic inequities that have been made worse by the COV-ID-19 outbreak. In order to successfully navigate these choppy waters, it is very necessary to be informed, involved, and proactive in our advocacy for policies that put the well-being of all Americans at the forefront. In conclusion, I would like to express my gratitude to each and every one of you for participating in today's discourse and checking in. It is because of your participation and support that this community is able to flourish, and I am really thankful that I have the opportunity to connect with you over these significant matters. Up until the next time, remember to stay informed, to maintain your sense of empowerment, and to work together to create a better future for everyone. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you found this video to be enjoyable so that you can see further videos in the future. Have a good time in the next one.